First of all, I'd like to say E to the O, my man Jocko, back on the scene with the record machine saying, Ooh, Papa, do, and a how do you do? And as the brothers know, Jocko was the, uh, the DJ in Philadelphia that many of us followed, and it was great to hear his program and whatever. So, anyway, as a uh, PMC 62 member of Q5, Pershing Rifles, I was asked to do this introduction tonight. Your PMC classmates welcome you to this special Company Q5 Remembrance Session. Jim Loftus developed the idea for this special short presentation and a drill routine to go with it. Then he enlisted Q5 members from 62 and one of our special guests, Shelley Schwartz, a Q5 member from the class of 1960 for this show entitled <coughs> Remember the Days. Before starting, I would like to uh, recognize the members of the PMC class of 62 who were members of Q5 during our stay at PMC. Ken Blanchard, Don Charles, Nick Coco, Frank Rigliano, Barry Ernst, Jacques Girard, Bill Grzynski, Bob Hawley, George Horn, Carl Eisern, Chris Casimus, Jim Loftus, Jack Kehoe, Jack McMahon, Bob Saunders, Bill Seitz, Emery Stearns, and Joe Traino. Also tonight, we want to recognize and salute someone special who was a cadet leader in the effort to get the PMC drill team accepted as a member unit of the National Organization Pershing Rifles. It's not very well known, but Cadet Captain Giulio Di Serafino, PMC class of 1952, was in charge of the drill team when it was certified by the National Organization as a Pershing Rifles unit. <laughs> Captain D, D, thank you, sir. And again, this, uh, this was a culmination, as Captain D would describe it, of four years' effort, starting in his freshman year, the leadership then, the cadet leadership and whatever, and evolving to, to D in his last year there, and he finally got it through. So again, thank you, sir. Starting in 1959, <coughs> Company Q5 made history, winning the Pershing Rifles National Drill Championship at the University of Illinois in Champaign, Illinois. This was followed by overall championship wins in 1960, 1961, and 1962. Most of the 62 brothers of Q5 participated in three of these national championships. In response to the 1960 win, a Philadelphia paper paid special tribute to Q5 in an article entitled, Cadets Make precision and art. It went on to say, quote, the team made drill team history at the University of Illinois where Q5, for the first time in the history of Pershing Rifles, won all top honors. This was done in competition with 46 colleges and universities, including the performers from Purdue, University of Illinois, and Penn State. Specifically, in 1960, we won first place in the following competitions. Basic standard drill, trick drill, and individual drill. In particular, with the individual drill, this was in competition with over 280 other individuals. And that individual was a senior cadet, David Haig. The article noted Quote, the cadets fought for their places in the ranks of Company Q5 the way other undergraduates compete for a berth on an athletic team. For these boys, marching, counter-marching, wheeling and weaving across a drill floor to split-second timing is an art, a science, and almost a way of life. Of special note, the trick drill team wowed the crowds with its silent, quick-step 
routine. At one competition, Company Q5 was especially noted by the judges as unique, precise, and exemplary in all respects. Speaking of judges, the team has requested that we appoint someone special to judge this routine tonight. Captain D, you've been so selected, sir. <laughs> and uh, en route to you right now is your competition form. Yes, sir, right there. <coughs> so, so we're ready to go that there. So anyway, with that said, I want to introduce you to Company Q5's uh, alumni presentation. Please note, although they do not have their trusty M1 8.5 pound rifles with them and may not be as quick as they once were. <laughs> Hopefully in this team you'll see that the Pershing Rifles Q5 spirit lives on. Thank you. Good in showing. So 